A beautiful domestic property here. Unfortunately, the pool is dropping about half inch in 24 hours, but it doesn't seem to drop that far. Recently, the cover pit has been fiberglassed due to a previous leak, and now nobody can find where the leak is. So let's get it. First go in the plant room, disconnect the pipe work. Now we've got to get in the pool, so we can block off this sump down here. We can go around, check the structure. There's two lights in the pool as well. We only found one problem with this light. Look at the state of this cable. It's just falling apart. That is shocking. So then I carried on to the other light and nothing was wrong with that. This swim jet was taken apart and checked. Couldn't find anything in there as well. So then we carried on over to the cover pit to check the fiberglass shell in there. Couldn't find no issues. And now we've got all the pipe work on test. I got back out to see what the pressure tests are doing. And all the pipe was maintaining pressure, confirming no leaks. Now next to the pole, we've got this. Normally you can put a sump down there, a sump pump, and it will pump away the water. It's just the excess groundwater around the pool. I thought I'd stick my camera down there. It just kept going. Right, I don't want to lose my camera, so I pulled it back out. And feeding this cover pit, we've got a skimmer that's been blocked off. Apparently it's got a huge leak. It's full of rubbish, and oh my god, it's stunk in there as well. So we cleared that out. We actually found that the cap inside it that was blocked off was damaged. So we pressure tested it and found it was leaking, but the customer doesn't want to dig up the, around the pool. So we put a proper cap in there and block that off. And look what we found here. Big crack in the skimmer, feeding the pool. So that's gotta be repaired. Last but not least, the customer wanted the top up feed connected back up. They didn't know which pipe it was. So we found it behind that cylinder there. And as you can see, it's now filling up the pool. And if we set it to the right height, it does eventually stop. Extra bonus is the customer didn't think that was working. With everything back to normal, and get the pump up and running. If we go over to the filter, we can start venting the air out so the pool can run properly again. Job's a good one. If you have a leak, let's get it. <laughs>